Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. Hello viewers, this is going to be a very quick video, it's not going to be an official episode and I'm not going to edit it nicely for you, so I apologize in advance for all the noise in the background and if my voice doesn't sound glorious. But I've been bombarded overnight with articles from the BBC and Think Progress, what a rag that is, about Hillary is being told that she's shouting and that's sexist. Listen, it's not sexist. But here we go again, we're going to misinterpret everything as some sort of ism so that Hillary can be elected in much the same way that Barack Obama was. Don't elect Hillary on the things that she believes in. Don't elect Hillary because you're totally fine with the fact that she put public emails on a private email server and magically lost them, which is technically a big, fat crime. No, elect Hillary because your guilt tells you you have to. That's a great reason to elect a president. Because you feel guilty. It's ridiculous. I didn't want to make a full video about it, I just wanted to say how absolutely fucking stupid this whole thing is. Here we go again. Barack Obama has black as part of his heritage, therefore you're not voting for the black man because you're a racist. Hillary? Oh, Hillary has a vagina. So anything that you say to criticize her, that's sexism. You people really need to stop throwing these terms around because you're really ruining the use of them. Sexism, racism, there are legitimate problems that these terms describe. Saying that Hillary Clinton shouts too much is not sexism. That's just not wanting to hear someone shout too much. To be fair, the other people sometimes do it too, particularly Donald Trump. Jesus Christ, someone shut him up. If this is really going to be a Hillary Trump election, all of you motherfuckers are stupid. That never should happen, because both of them are bad, bad news for a variety of reasons, and you should know better. So. Thanks for all the entertainment. Something good better come of this, I swear to God. But in the end, Congress makes all the laws, President just has to sign off on them, and even the President can be overridden. So once again, the presidential race has somehow even managed to bamboozle me into seeing it as the most important thing when it really isn't. This is Feminazi, signing off. Hope you enjoy your cake!